And it, the, the best analogy I've ever heard is uh, Scientific American, I think it was, did a study in the early 70s on the efficiency of locomotion. And was what they did was for all different species of things on the planet, birds and cats and dogs and fish and man and goats and stuff, they measured how much energy does it take for a goat to get from here to there, right? Kilocalories per kilometer or something, I don't know what they measured it in. And they ranked them, they published a list, and, and the condor won. The condor took the least amount of energy to get from here to there. And man was, didn't do so well, came in with a rather unimpressive showing about a third of the way down the list. But fortunately, someone at Scientific American was insightful enough to test man with a bicycle. And man with a bicycle won, twice as good as the condor, all the way off the list. And what it showed was that man as a tool maker has the ability to make a tool to amplify an inherent ability that he has. And that's exactly what we're doing here. It's exactly what we're doing here. We're not making bicycles to be ridden between Palo Alto and San Francisco. Okay, we're making bicycles. And yes, certain bicycles have certain generic attributes, like in general, 10 speeds are better to ride in mountains than 1 speeds and other things like that. But in general, what we're doing is we're building tools that amplify a human ability. Just like the, um, you could say that the Industrial Revolution was basically an amplification of a human ability, sweat. Right? We amplified sweat. Fractional horsepower motors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What we're working towards now is the ability to amplify another human ability. And we're just starting to get glimmerings of where it's going to go. 